In this video, you will get to understand the foundation of how a keto diet works. Understanding this will make it much simpler to make it work for you. A keto diet basically turns you into a fat burning machine, making it very easy to lose excess weight, stay satiated for long periods, control your blood sugar, and reverse many common health issues. Your body will burn fat, and your brain will burn ketones that are also made from fat, so you will be a fat-burning machine. It's important to realize that this is very different from what's considered normal today. All around the world, there's a disaster going on, a massive obesity epidemic. Most people in the modernized world are already overweight or obese. And associated with this, there's a massive global diabetes epidemic, meaning too much sugar in people's blood. Every second American is now predicted to get type 2 diabetes in their lifetime. And incredibly, in China, the type 2 diabetes epidemic is even worse. It's a disaster in India as well, and in the Arab world, not just in the US and Europe. It's a global problem now, leading to terrible complications. Excess fat on people's bodies and excess sugar in their blood. What is going on? It's not just that this affects people you know. It most likely affects you too, already. So, why is it happening? All around the world, we now have easy access to high-carb, high-sugar foods 24-7. Foods that are also hyper-palatable, meaning they are so rewarding that they are potentially addictive. So if we just do what everyone else is doing, we are likely to eat and drink sugar or starch many, many times per day. And every time we do that, we increase the amount of sugar in our blood, and we make sure our bodies burn sugar. Now, the problem with burning primarily sugar is that this shuts down our body's fat burning via the hormone insulin. When you eat carbs, you raise the blood sugar levels and insulin levels rise. Now, insulin is the body's fat-storing hormone. It tells your body to store fat you eat for later. So the sugar is burned first, and the fat is stored for later. And that's the problem in a nutshell, because later never comes. In today's world, we'll soon eat again. And we're not just talking about the obvious junk food like donuts. Even starchy foods like bread or pasta rapidly break down in the gut, turning to pure glucose. A simple sugar, raising blood sugar and insulin levels. So even bread, pasta and rice, all starchy foods, turn to simple sugars in the gut. So if people eat what most people eat, their blood streams are constantly full of sugar. Worst case, even turning them into diabetics. And at the same time, they are constantly storing fat. And that's why we have an obesity epidemic. Just uh, eating less and moving more is simply not enough to stop it. We know that now. We've been saying that for 30 years. While the obesity epidemic keeps getting worse every year, it's not working, and we know why. Losing weight by counting calories is hard work. As long as people eat lots of sugar or carbs, thinking they're doing the right thing, it can be almost hopeless. Because they will constantly be in fat-storing mode, and uh, you can't outrun a bad diet. Now. What does all this have to do with keto? A keto diet is the exact opposite. Instead of burning sugar all the time, we burn fat. Now, obviously, keto is not the only healthy way you could eat, but it is the most powerful diet to completely reverse diseases caused by too much sugar and carbs, including obesity. Because instead of constantly eating sugar and starch all day, we don't do it at all. At least, almost not at all. A keto diet is a very low-carb diet. 
It is moderate in protein, meaning you should still eat a normal amount of protein, what you need to repair and maintain the body's tissues, like before. But the energy that you need, what you use to get mostly from sugar or carbs, that you will now get from fat. On a keto diet, your body is fueled by fat. All the muscles in our bodies can be fueled directly by fat. But the brain, however, cannot. And that's where we come to the word keto, short for ketogenic. When you eat very few carbs, your body will take fat and convert it in the liver to small energy molecules called ketones. And ketones are a great fuel for your brain. So on keto, even your brain will be burning fat via ketones. This is actually a function that the body needs whenever you don't eat for some time. If you're fasting or starving, the stored sugar quickly runs out and the body starts producing ketones from fat to feed the brain. So you don't have to do a keto diet to get into ketosis. You, you could also just fast for a day or two. And you would also get into ketosis and burn lots of fat. The neat thing is that you don't have to starve or fast for a long time to achieve that, because a keto diet also does it. Plus, you, you obviously can't fast forever, but you can do a keto diet for life. The bottom line is that keto makes you a fat-burning machine. While someone else might be running on a treadmill for an hour to burn some fat, you will be burning fat 24-7, even when sleeping. It's the ultimate diet for weight loss, and it can help you feel greater and perform better. Why? Well, because you, you're never likely to run out of fuel. Your body can only store carbs for energy for a few hours or maximum one day. This means that if you're a sugar burner, you will get hungry again fast. You'll have to eat and prepare food all the time. And if you don't, you're likely to feel hungry and tired and miserable. On the other hand, the body stores fat with enough energy for weeks or even months. And on a keto diet, your body and brain has constant access to this. You'll become the energizer bunny. You'll be able to just keep going, feeling energetic and satiated and great without ever having to stop for a snack. You could even easily skip a few meals, should you want to, saving tons of time, even money, and all the time you will be burning fat. Even when you're in bed dreaming, your body and brain are burning fat. It's no surprise that keto is a great way to lose weight. But it's much more than that. And we'll talk about the other benefits too in detail later in this course. In the next part, we'll get very practical. What exactly do you eat on a keto diet? I mean, except for bacon. Everyone knows you can eat bacon, right? I'll see you soon in part three.